Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's GoTats here, and welcome back to a new episode of GTA 5 Stun Challenge. And today, we're trying a stunt that was hit maybe about, maybe, I don't know, a really long time ago. But it's a spot that I haven't really been seeing uh, too many people trying lately or trying to get leftovers off of. And the reason for that being pretty much like most stuns off of this spot have been taken up. But I haven't tried this yet in an episode of Stunt Challenge. So I just thought that this would be a fun spot to try for a video and stuff. So pretty much the spot is you got to use these like freeway barriers to gain as much speed as possible. Because you want to be going really fast and get the bump because that will allow you to get the most speed possible. And we just want to go through here. I don't want to screw up before I get to the bump because that would be embarrassing for the first try. But there are various like mini precision stunts that we can try off of this bump. There's also uh, building stunts that we can try too if we go far enough off of the bump. So we have to go through here and we want to bump off of here. And what we're going to be trying to do is landing on top of that bridge. That's one stunt we can do. Can we try it first try? And of course not. Of course we didn't land it on the first try. That's never how it works. But that's one of the stunts that we can try off of this bump. A few other things that could happen off of this bump if we were to go fast enough is I get another bump like off of here or maybe over there on top of that building and we could land on that hospital building that was in recalibrated by Evolve Stunting and that was hit by Yellick. Or if we wanted to cut it short, we could hit some of the mini positions like over here by this shopping area. We could, there's really a lot of possibilities off of this bump and it really depends on like how you hit the bump too. So there's just a lot of stuff we can do here. So anyways, how are you guys all doing today? I'm doing pretty good. You know, this is my first video of the day. I'm actually probably going to make my very first video on the Kotetsu Underground channel today. Like, what I'm going to be talking about, I'm still going to leave anonymous because it is something I've been wanting to talk about for a while. And the video ideas, I want to keep it like a surprise for now because I feel like the video would be better if I did just in case someone saw this or I upload that on the second channel. But like I said before, it's going to relate to some film, and I've also had another idea for this channel, and that's going to be like the question for today's video. I've had this idea for a while, but just because of like various like complications, I wasn't thinking about doing this, but like as of recently, I've seriously considered like doing this. So what I've been thinking about is starting my very own GTA 5 challenges series, and you guys probably know the reason why I didn't want to do this before, and it's because like people would probably accuse me of like copying Hazardous. But, like, I, I had an idea for the series that would make it so the series would be considerably different than how Hazardous does it if I did on my channel. And, you know, like, you guys in, like, Hazardous's uh, GTA 5 challenges videos, how he, like, uses, like, lots of mods to do the challenges and stuff like that. And it's a lot of, like, trainer. And it's not really, like, as, like, genuine in-game stuff. Well, I was thinking, like, if I did a GTA 5 challenges series, like, the way it would go is, like, I did the challenges, but I just wasn't allowed to use any mods for it. And that, of course, would mean, whoa, what happened there? How would I go through that? Anyways, as I was saying, like, I would, like, want, like, you guys to request for me to do things like challenges that you can do in game like without mods and it could be like difficult it could be like rather easy it doesn't matter it could be anything and it would have to be something that I could do without any mods like in a video and I feel like that would make it like different enough from like Hazardous's uh, challenge series that it, it would be okay for me to upload that I just want to start uploading stuff besides stunt challenges because I don't know I feel like if I have like three three or four like stunt challenge videos a week instead of like uploading like different or more like varietized series i feel like that would be a waste of potential so i want to start like branching out and do some other like gta 5 and like other series too so yeah let me know what you guys think about it and by the way like just in case for the first episode if i decide to make that the way you can leave suggestions is just tweet like ideas at me or you could leave like a comment in the comment section down below for like what you'd want me to do for that because if i did it i would just look on my phone during the video for suggestions so that would be how to get your suggestion to me also about two weeks ago just for fun i posted a picture of myself in the subreddit roast me i'm sure a lot of you guys know about that and dang they were so brutal i mean i was not expecting that at all i'm not sure if i've really talked about this at all like if i haven't but just like if it's gotten more comments since the last time that i went on it so i guess i can like share some of the things that people had to say about me like the first and most common thing that people compared me to which i thought was kind of weird was like they compared me to like a variety of fruits and when you think about it like everyone's head is shaped after some fruit like i had some people like calling me a watermelon 
Some people called me a cherry because of my skin complexion. Some people called me a cantaloupe. I thought that was weird. But I mean, like, when you think about it, the human head is naturally shaped. That so it's be so it's like after some fruit. So I don't really think it's a roast, like comparing someone to a fruit, because when you think about it, pretty much every human being looks like a fruit in the first place. But outside of that whole roast me forum, which I know is a joke, I wasn't seriously offended by any of the things that people said on there. Okay, I know that whole entire subreddit is a complete joke but like outside of like what's a joke and just on like the regular YouTube comment section like I know people have like gone over this a billion times but no one on the internet is nice I mean I've known this since I was like seven years old but it's like serious and I've like gotten like sort of realize that more like based on like what people have been saying like on my more popular videos that have my face featured in it like this obviously excludes like the uh, disappearance of Red Keymon because that didn't have my face in it but like there are some other videos that of mine that have been getting more views lately that people have had some interesting things to say about it. So, for instance, the stunt test with the Fagio Sport has like 4,000 views now. I don't really know why. I didn't really see any other Fagio Sport videos get that many views. Maybe it got lucky in the search rankings. I honestly have no idea. I didn't really even use that many tags in that video anyway. But anyways, there's people like making comments like that weren't really related to the video at all. There's this one guy, it was funny because he just said like straight up, you are ugly in the comment section. And I don't really feel like that's valid criticism. Like whether or not I'm ugly is completely subjective. Like you can think I'm ugly and I'm completely fine with it. Like I don't really care. But it's funny like when you, you don't like compare it to your own face. It's like it doesn't have any substance to it. Like your profile picture is just that default like S thing. Like is that... Am I supposed to be offended by that? So in other words, it's just like really weird when some random person over the internet like calls you ugly, like they could be calling you like fat or stupid and stuff like that too. But at the same time, they're calling you that when you have no knowledge of like if they are fat, like if they're stupid, if they're ugly. So like, I don't know, it just, it's really pointless and it's really surprising like how many people like actually think like that's supposed to like offend me or something. All right, here we go. Let's try and get an actual attempt this time. Here we go, let's go off. Of here and whoa I need to slow down a lot or I can get the null bump either one can I do it oh no maybe I should start gliding farther you know what that might not be such a bad idea all right let's try this again am I gonna get any better luck this time I don't know let's go off the bump and okay this is better this is way better I just need to get the landing on this one the landing is so hard like it's such a small surface am I supposed to like land like slightly before it? I'm not entirely sure but all I know is this is a bit harder than I thought it was gonna be all right, so on this attempt, I was thinking maybe I'd try the side edge bump. I'm not sure how it's going to work. So right here, and that knocked me way too far aside. Oh, precision, precision. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I'm not willing to accept that close of an attempt. Dang it. Grind? Ah, oh, no. But you guys see that? That couldn't have been any closer. Overall, though, I still think the most impressive thing I could do off of this is the bridge precision. So that's what we're going to continue trying. Okay, that time it didn't work though. All right, here we go. I think we have the perfect speed this time. Let's turn. There we go. Yep. Oh, oh, dull bump. Can I get it? I'm gonna try to get a dull bump here. Let's see if it works. There we go. Can I get it? Oh, no, no, no. It was a little bit of lag right there, but I think I hit that thing that was a little bit too high for me to bump off of. Let's try again. Here we go. And I got a bump off of nothing this time. Should I try this? Will it work? Uh, there's nothing else I can do here. You know what? I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep on going. Let's see if I can do something of this. Uh, this is the only thing I can think of. Will this work? Um, okay, that did not work at all. Here we go again. Come on, this has to be good. Okay, here we go. Okay, perfect. Perfect speed. Everything, too. Can I get it? Landing, landing. Oh, no, no, no. Dang it. I always miss time when to let off my glide. It's not really that hard to get the run up correctly. In fact, I think I actually do it this time. Like, here we go. Yeah, that's the run up, but the landing, it's just so hard. Like, can I do it this time? Let's see if I can do it. Um, can I? And what i just did it live right there holy crap and i just started talking too and that was as clean as possible what are you serious and that's just when i started talking after 17 minutes too what so yeah i guess you could say that's quite the unexpected live reaction that happened right there on camera so i'm gonna go into rockstar editor try and make that into something cool and yeah i'll show that to you guys right now
So hopefully you guys did enjoy a little Rockstar edit, and yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, be sure to drop a like on the video because it does help a lot. And also be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for daily GTA 5 content and more. And until next time, this is Kotatsu. Have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Kotatsu out.